<clears throat> totally cool building, man. Exponent Telegram. Guess that's the newspaper. Get my exercise in today, boy. I'm good. I'm good. Right now, I'm videoing you. Why? Because I can. Can I help you? No. Big ass building. How big that thing is. GoPro start recording. Derek William Hatch, Hatch and Spiller, federal officer, lost a line of duty, I guess. Open Monday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday, 9 a.m., 4 p.m., all the same. Friday, everything's closed on the weekends. Firearms and weapons are prohibited. See the code on that. Section 102-74.424. Sir? Yes, sir. We didn't ask you to leave the property. This is actually federal property. Uh, you can take pictures from across the street. Oh, no, the DHS memo of 2008 specifically says photographs for news purposes uh, is permitted. Look up the DHS memo from 2018, revised. It was revised from 2010 saying that we could take thick pictures in corridors, lobbies, hall hallways, and the outside right. perimeter of all buildings. Right. Federal buildings, including post office. I was just looking at the code down there on no photography. I ain't never seen that code before. It, that goes against the uh, DHS memo, 2018, revised. You can look it up. How are you gentlemen doing today? Well, we've got DHS on the phone, and they said we have to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your name and badge number? They said you have to be across the street. Uh, what's your name, sir? I don't have to give anything, do you? So, sir, you're, a, you're working for the public, aren't you? Can you, can you get here pretty soon? You do have to. Uh, what happens if I want to file a complaint on you? I'm not, I'm not doing anything to have you. I need to know who I'm talking to, sir. Can you be polite and give me your name and your badge number? I don't have a badge number. Can I have your name, please? I see that you're, uh, what is that, security officer, allied, or? 
No. What what is it? What's the uh what's the security firm? Sorry? So they didn't give you permission to report me. But you don't have to have permission. It's in public, sir. And you're a young pup, so I ain't gonna call you, sir. You're 30 years below yeah, I'll me. Work, I'll work for a living, so don't call me, sir. <laughs> oh, good one. Okay. Right. I'm gonna focus in on you, actually. Okay. Yeah, I think you're gonna be my thumbnail, brother. You're gonna definitely be my thumbnail. And this is public property out here, so, you know, I'm not in the court, I'm not in the federal building. I'm on the sidewalk, public property. Now, if I were to come into that building, you'd have jurisdiction over me. Even that's not accurate because I'm allowed to walk through the hallways and corridors. As long as I don't commit a crime, and I don't commit crimes. You smart? You don't believe me? I don't commit crimes. A whole bunch of people like you do, though. It's called deprivation of rights under the color of law. Not letting people in, telling people what to do, where they're not allowed to be, what they're what to do, what not to do. That's a crime. To a free society, that is. I'm not blocking the doorway, it's wide open. It's all on videotape, see? Good one, good try. Again, you ain't gonna get me. Uh, you might be my thumbnail. nobody see she made it through I didn't block anybody I'm in a big body too did you tell them about DHS memo 2018 He's using a flip phone. <laughs> Check out the old flip phone. That's funny. There's a lot of nodding going on. I think he's starting to understand something. Like photography is not a crime. You can't trespass somebody off of public property for filming. I was just up at WBOI. They do it all the time, don't they? WBOI films in public all the time. They bring the big cameras out and everybody's free game. That's why I'm focusing on you. Yeah, don't even know how to wear a mask right. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Your mask is below your nose, dude. <laughs> What's the effectiveness of it? If you're gonna wear it, wear it right. 
If you're not gonna wear it, don't wear it at all. <laughs> Look at your nose. Like that's really helping. What's your sense of wearing a mask? Okay. If you're gonna breathe through your nose. Contaminating the air. Uh, okay. He only know how to wear a mask. Down below his nose. This nasty air is being contaminated by him. Look at him, he's breezing through his nose. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get to a conclusion here. I already know what the conclusion is. Uh oh, they're hiding behind a desk. Something's gonna happen here in a minute. Uh, where are you at? The store? They're doing a confab. This is when they get together to work things out. A little confab. Cop confab. They really aren't cops, they're security guards. They have no authority over me at all. None. I'm not in their building. It isn't their building, it's our building. We pay for this, which makes it public. See you guys. All kind of laws right behind you on that window. Maybe one of them apply. Workers' rights, the law, employees' rights, employees' rights. What, no DHS, M a DHS memo? No 2008 DHS memo for filming in public? No? Saying that I'm all right to do this? Protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution? Freedom of the press? Case law? I'm allowed to film my public officials during the course of their business? That's Smith versus Cumming, Georgia. Seattle versus Forsyth also gives me the right to film in public, public officials which you people are. Even though you're a security officer, you're still getting paid by the taxpayer dollar, which makes you a public official and answerable to me. So whenever I leave, can I have all your names and badge numbers so I can might file a complaint, especially on you for not wearing a mask properly? It gets, it gets serious whenever complaints are filed. And then it goes right to your boss. So maybe you might pull that mask up a little bit Rolling your eyes like a little girl. I love it. I love it when men roll their eyes like little girls. Well, I don't want to get in the way of your picture. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. Let's not pick on him anymore. Let's go back over to these guys hunkered down in a, a little a little thing. Oh, there, there goes one. He's popped up. He's running away. He's going back to get some information. I don't know what it is but I know I'm solid. Did you figure it out? Are you gonna tell me to leave, move, get away, or what? No? Huh, what happened to that, brother? What in the world happened? I'm allowed to film you? Really? You mean case law has proven it over and over again? Supreme Court, SCOTUS. And I can wrap off about five other case laws that would uh, strip anybody's qualified immunity if they tried to put their hands on me. So I'm going to go look through the windows some more. I'm going to look all around, look all the way through the windows, look at them people, see what my public officials are doing on, their, on my dime. So you'll see me, you'll see me uh, in them cameras right there. And uh, that sign right there, you should, you should remove that sign saying that you shouldn't film right here on the door. You know, that code is wrong. I told you that from the get-go. It's illegal. That, that, that sign right there has to be removed. Yeah, I like how everybody ignores me now. It's going to be a great video. You can see it tonight. I might post it tonight. I might not. Let me get a close-up of that camera shot. Look at all them, look at all them cameras. 
Alright, I got this place covered. Can I have your names? Badge numbers? No? No? Y'all work for the public, right? Is it a company policy to identify to the public whenever you're asked? No? See, so you are Paragon Security, huh? Paragon Security. I'm gonna have to call your boss. Zzz. You have to call the boss on you guys for not identifying, not being professional. You know, I encountered uh, probably about six or seven different cops today. They all gave me their names and badge numbers. They were all polite. They were all nice. They were all professional. You guys need to be retrained. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Ah, uh, you're waiting on him, huh? Go get any breaking information uh, so you guys lay hands on me or anything? No? You, you guys wanted to lay hands on me too, I bet. There. He got his mask up a little bit higher. It's, it's cutting, a but it still isn't just right. I'm gonna have to call this, the head of security for this law, uh, security firm and let them know how professional these guys are. I might even send him the video. You never know. No, not identifying, just be nice. But no, this is how we get greeted as a public coming into our federal buildings. And if he wouldn't have checked, I'm sure he would have ramped it up a little bit. Yeah. All right, well, I'll be walking around, fellas. Have a nice day, youngster.